going to be the second part of our series where we're looking at the the land option rather than the art one. So I'll jump into Photoshop quickly. Okay, so here's our A4 page at 200 pixels per inch. This load of exercises is going to have different ways of going through the uh, channel process and then again we're going to be doing the bit mapping. So with this one here, the tool that I like to use is the magic wand, so it's just on a tolerance of 11, I'll put it on 32 because that's usually the, the standard one. And what I'll do is I'll select a bit of the ocean, shift, so it adds to that selection, shift down here so it takes a bit more up in the sky, so just holding down the shift key, okay, and I get a bit of a selection, so I'm going to hit the quick mask tool, okay, obviously, I mean that's it's quite nice, I like that, but I'll swap around, so I'll go to the mask and hit Command I. And just so I can see exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to go to the adjustment layers and I'm going to bring in solid color, just change it to white, and then I can see exactly what's going on. I'll drag it below my other option here, and um, then if I get the mask, I'm going to get um, a paintbrush. I'm actually going to choose the um, the one that I've made. Just going to check and see that it's got scattering and some of these dynamics to make it a bit more interesting as a brush. I use the right square bracket just to bump it up a bit, and and I'm just going to with black eat into some of the selection a wee bit, I might get rid of that, oops, it went too far up into here, so I have to make the brush a bit lower, get that bit out, yeah, okay, I'm going to um, go with that, so I'm going to drag that over onto this one, Untitled, um, uh, sorry, not Untitled, it's called, um, called Land. So I'll minus this down so I can go Command T and again scale it. So that I get it looking a, a decent size on here. I mean the funny um, thing with this is that actually it's a pretty skinny, pretty skinny image. So I'm just gonna um, hit enter and let that transition happen. I can see, it's going to go to the um, channels, I've got a black line here, so if I go to the channels I can just, you know, I can see that black, the white needs to be filled in there, so I'll just go option delete, filling it with black, and you can see it covers up that line, just making it a little bit, a little bit tidier. It could maybe go a bit smaller, but we'll, we'll leave it like that at the at the moment. So I've got this image here as well that I'd quite like to play with. So I'm going to do the same kind of um, selection. I'm going to select the ocean. I can shift click and add to it. But there's actually a function under select that says similar. And it will go through that whole image, and it will look for similar things to what I've um, what I've chosen. So it's probably done a pretty good a pretty good job of getting the C. I'll go to the layers, and I'm just going to put a quick mask on it. Again, wrong way around. So I'll just Command I on the mask, and yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to. Drag it off to the side, and then I can drag it across. Drop it on this image, and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so it's massive, it's huge. So, Command T. I'm going to scale that down. I'm going to Rotate it like that. OK, 
come up here and have a look. So how can I make this look a bit more, a bit more interesting? Oh, I've got enter, so it's just going to transform it. So I'll go with what I've got and see what I can do. So I'm just going to I'm just going to mask it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the land, so I can control that mask. So if I switch off the eye, just like this. Now that I'm on Mata Island, so I click on it, I can get the Magic Wand Tool and click on, there we go, it's selected, just couldn't see it. And I click on this other little part of the landscape coming out the side. And now if I come back up onto here, I'm on the mask. I know that black box out, so I can go Option Delete or Fill with the foreground color. So I know it's going to stop that mask, so I can see the island. Command D. I'm going to um, uh, just drag the lasso, and if I as you hold down the Alt or the Option key and let go, it will give me the sign. I can just click along, and that's kind of a faster, easier way of um, doing it. Sometimes, let go. It's made that selection, and then I can just go Option Delete. You can see on the channel here what it's doing. It's filled it with black, so I can no longer see it on here. So I'll go. Command D, and I'm just going to have to paint some of these some of these areas out. So I'll blow up on them. Probably can use a smaller brush. Uh, I'm just going to check because it looks for some reason like the scattering's off. No, maybe I just need to change the settings a wee bit. It's a little bit hard to control on the um, scattering, so sometimes it pays to go into a, a normal brush, but I don't mind if it um, goes over a bit. I like some of these incidentals. Uh, and up here I might try and use them to my advantage. See if the way I can kind of get into this image a wee bit, make it a bit smaller. This where it's kind of going out the top of the image. So I'm just trying to um, tidy it up a little bit. There we go. So it's not all just kind of flooding out the flooding out the top of that image. So I'm going to go to the mask of Mana Island and I'm going to say okay I'm going to try and mask or soften this this area here. So I'll get a soft brush. I can change the opacity down or I can just make a really really big brush and then what I'm doing is I'm just using the softness of the edge. See I'm not even on the page and you can see it softening the edge because it's got a huge feather on it. So it's not at a soft opacity, it's just a massive feathered edge. So I'll go with um, I'll go with that. I'll just close uh, these other images because I don't need them anymore, and I'll start looking at some of the uh, some of the other options and how we can play around with them. So there's one that's called uh, clouds. Actually, it's not um, it's not open, so I'm just gonna open it up. Now it's okay, this is a, um, a good one. Now, this one, and I'll just go through the, 
the process. This uh, a lot of the channels can be um, fixed up with dodging and burning. So if I select all, Command A, Command C to copy it, go to the channels. I'll make a new channel and I'll paste it. I usually start off with the level, so Command L. Just, I just try and make it a bit more contrasty. I'm trying to make this section black and the top section half because, uh, sorry, white, because when I look at it, um, that can make a nice kind of nice kind of border. So I'll start with the dodge tool. So I come in here, the opacity is right down, so I might bump that up quite high. Pick a bigger brush and just get in there. And again, I can use a big uh, soft edge if it's a big enough brush, and that can be a nice way where you just kind of glance over, glance over things. Now I'll go to the burn tool, and I'll try doing the opposite. I'll enlarge it up. It's usually always on shadows. It's on a hundred percent exposure, so it's going to darken uh, through here. And actually, I'm going to I'm going to lighten it off because I don't want it to be too destructive. I want it to leave some kind of grey through here with the with the clouds. I'm just getting the black brush. Just this didn't. Uh, burn all the way out, so I'm just going to take it out like that. This is the area that I want to fill, so at the moment it's it's good because I want to white, white will be the area that I fill. So I'll hit the selection, layers, I come in here and I can give it a, uh, a mask, but actually it's not um, the mask I want to do, I want to make a new layer because this one we're going to turn into a bitmap. So, option delete, so I've got black. I need to just get a um, solid color in there, so I've got to chuck white in. Now you can see even when you choose up in the corner, it's never perfectly white. See, there's a little, just a one, so if I want to, I could go zero, tab, zero, make sure it's all perfectly white. And I'll check that underneath. To make the bitmap, I can do the same thing of going image mode. So we make it grayscale first. Yeah, we flatten it and discard the, the colors. We change it to a bitmap. Go OK. Uh, three times up. So you can see this is 350 now. So we actually want an image that's a lot higher. Uh, 30, I might make it. 11 and instead of lines I'm going to make it round this time. A plus. Not too bad when it's blowing up. So maybe I'll use this one at a large size. So I'll select all. I'll copy. Don't actually need the clouds anymore so I'm going to get rid of it. And I'll go to land image and through the channels so I make a new channel I paste my um, image and I can see almost nothing's happened and it's just I can see a few white dots it's because it's huge so let's scale it right right down command plus see this image and how it's looking. I might actually scale it up a bit so that I'll be able to see the quality of those um, those dots. So I go OK. Uh, it's this area up here that I actually want to fill with colour. So what I need to do is um, go Command I, but just before I do I can see that there's an area down here that hasn't filled, so Command Delete just to fill with background color, which is white. Command D to deselect, and then when everything's deselected, Command I, which is invert. 
soon as I get this, I can load up the selection, go to my um, layers, I'll make a new layer and just drag it underneath the Mana Island. And I think it was this color that we chose on the other one, which so I'm going to go um, Option Delete, Command Z. And bring this image down a bit with the with the texture. I won't worry about the stuff up the top at the um, at the moment. I'll come back to I'll come back to that. So let's see what other uh, images we've got. We've got this. I might hold off on that for a minute. Um, trees. Right, the one that I'm after. Isn't um, isn't open? It's this is the one. This is the one I want to do do next. And if I just chuck that layer away, so you can see what's happening with this image here. It's a little bit of um. Grey, so I'm going to select all of that. Command A, Command C to copy it. Channels, I'll make a new channel. Command V, paste it in. And Command D to deselect. And then I've got a few bits here where, okay, I can um, go burn. I'll burn on the right a bit so I don't see that. It's really really all I'm after is I'm going to take the silhouette of this, so where it's white, that's actually going to be filled with colour. So I can probably just do a little bit of um, dodging there as well. So this I don't need to invert it because white's going to fill with colour, so I'll just select it. Select it straight away. Layers. Make a new layer. Pop it up the top. Uh, Alt Delete or Option Delete. It's going to fill that selection. And this is what we have. So perfect. I can see uh, there's a few bits that I could probably um, tidy up if I want. I could just, in this case, cheat a wee bit and um, just get the racer knock out some of these um, odd little bits around the, the edge just so it's not quite so dirty. And that's great, so I'm going to change that to a bitmap. So I can go up and go image, mode, grayscale first to get it off colour, merge, discard the colour information, change it to a bitmap, Flatten and all the other stuff. Now I think this one, halftone screen, I did it as a line and I'm going to have it on 90. So it's straight up and down. See how this looks. Oh. Silly me, I'm just going to um, command see that. I filled out the right, wrong criteria on the boxes. So now if I go image, mode, bitmap. Yeah. Okay, it's the angle, it has to be 90. This I'll try at 11. And you can see that kind of screening coming through. Really, um, really lovely. Really like that. So, Command 0. Just going to um, drag this across, and now with um, this image here, I'll just drag that over, and uh, just 
Let's make it over, drop it on the other image. Let's check that I've got the right thing. I'll probably need to um, command all, copy it onto our land image and then with the channels make a new channel fill the background color so command delete which is white paste it and I can't see at the minute anything at the moment is perfect because the image is so huge so if I go command T it's an easy way to check it you can see it's massive and now I can just um, scale it down and see it on that image, command zero to fit in the window. Might just make it a bit smaller. And I'll hit return with that. Okay, command D, and once you've got no selection, command I, because remember this is the bit that I want to fill with color. Make the selection, jump into the layers, and then if I make a new layer here, and I can hit I, which will give me the eyedropper, and just select that blue color. Alt or Option Delete. Command D to deselect. And then just so one image stands out over the other, I'm going to change the blending mode to Multiply. Um, here we go. And you can see that image kind of stands out a wee bit more. So I'm going to have it just in here, I could probably dilute it slightly from 100%, knock it back a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is very quickly, I'm going to open up another image that we were going to use that hasn't come through, and this is the map one. Now this one, uh, really straightforward, I'll just grab it, Command A to select all, Command X to cut it. I can close that window now, I don't need it anymore. Same with this, I can close it. So on this image, channels, a new channel, I'll start off with white this time, so command delete to fill with the background color white. Command V, command D. And I'm not, I'm not even going to um, play around with the levels, that's good with me, I'll just go command I to invert it, load it up, layers, new layer. I've still got that color in the foreground so I'll um, uh, option delete it, command D and here we go sitting in there. So I can try it with the um, multiply again and see what difference it makes. quite like it, it's quite nice. And then I'll go on to the, um, the next bit. The main uh, but here, actually, I'll do a, I'll do a bitmap with the with the bucket fountain as well. So image mode, grayscale, uh, image mode, bitmap. This one I'm going to have it as dots. Uh, I'll try for eleven again. Yeah, okay, pretty. Um, Pretty coarse, but that's um that's okay. So I'll select all. I'll copy it. Don't need that any anymore. And then it's the same sort of thing. It's into the um into the channels. So the channels, a new channel. Command V again. I can't see anything, so I'll go Command minus because I know it's just going to be huge because I can see that dotty thing in the line in the corner of the selection. So if I go Command T and find these books and just scale it, there we go. Command zero to fit it back in the window. And okay, there's a bit here I need to clean up. So I'll just fill that with white. Command delete. Command T. Command I, 
so that I can load that selection, go to the layers, make a new layer and option delete, fill with the foreground color, which is this blue, command D, and in this case I'm just going to go command T, I'm just going to um, rotate it, hold the shift key to constrain it to straight up and down, and it might be something that kicks in a bit later, we'll, we'll worry about that in a, in a minute. The next bit that I think I'm going to bring in, it's really interesting, is the, is the water, and this is quite um, an interesting way to play with um, with an image like this. If we select also Command A, go to the channels, make a new channel, Command uh, V. Let's see what did I? Command A, Command C to copy it. Command V, must have bumped the wrong button. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is Command L to bring up the levels. I'm going to make it more contrasty. So I'm trying to get a separation. I'm trying to make this top part darker. I'm trying to separate it out from the, uh, the foam of the waves a little bit. It's getting pretty close. The rest of it, I think I can do by using the um, dodge and burn tool. So burn, and I'll bump it right up, 100% um, for a start. Just try and darken this right in. I can, I can become smaller with the brush, or I can be a bit more subtle with the exposure, so they can get in there and try and um, the kind of mask, in a way, but with some degree of, um, of subtlety. Down here, I want to do the opposite. I want to get the dodge tool. It's up pretty high, 92. So I'll reduce the brush size and see what I can do with this. Trying to trying to get some distinction between these two, two areas. Now what I can do is I can come in with a brush. Maybe I'll try my uh, one again. I might actually pick a brush that's uh, bit more regular. And I'm going to have it on the white now. And I can come in and just get out these dark, dark areas. So try not to interfere too much with the edge. So I've used the dodge and the burn tools to try and tidy those up. Now I'm just getting rid of everything that's below it. So Command D, so you end up with quite a nice mask. Now I can select that, come into the layers, hit the mask. What I'm going to do is I'll just uh, bring in a, um, whoops, not layers, an adjustment layer, so I can bring in a white, just so I can see, just again, so I can see what's going on. And the main, the main thing here is that the top of this image is quite blue, like the foam's been affected by the water. So if I click on that layer, so I'm not on the mask now, I'm on the layer. I have a soft brush, and I change the mode to color, and then I'm going to choose white. You'll see that it goes and it tries to color it with the white. And you get something that's a bit more glass or crystal-like. It kind of um, does a nice job of sucking away that that blue. Uh, now with this, I'm going to move it over, and I'm going to drag that on. That's a layer that I want to be right at the top. And 
And so with this, and I'll leave it, um, I'll leave it at the at the top. What I can do is I can now come in with a um, a mask on the. Oh, that one's got a mask. I'll go to the mask, and I can get uh, a soft brush. And oh, I have to change my foreground color to black. I can start again to that. Remember, soft edge. I can just use a big brush. Get that nice soft edge. Can also change around with the um, opacity. That was a wee bit um, too far. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just pull that um, image down a wee bit more. And it's kind of getting a, um, an interesting distinction between the between the two areas. I can also um, uh, paint that area back in a wee bit if I want in um, uh, places and do things like if I have it soft, if I have it soft out here, I can go back and I can uh, switch some of these things off so I can see Mana Island. I can get the magic um, wand tool again, click on mana, I was just on the wrong layer, so I've got this, and I can use this as a mask, so again I can switch these on, I can come up to here, and I can say, okay, on that mask, nothing goes over mana island, so I'll fill it with black, option, delete, command D, and so it's going to stop at that mark. I might say, oh, okay, I can soften that a wee bit, but you get this this interesting um, interesting break. I've also got things like I can use the mask up here. So if I go Command and I click on the mask for that, I can let some of the stuff back through. So I can get black again with a soft uh, brush. Get a really big uh, big brush. The opacity is a hundred. I can paint back in a little bit so that you know, command T some of the rocks are coming over the front are not all hidden behind so you get this mixture of of imagery now one that we were playing around with before if I come down here and I put a mask on this layer that was our kind of blue bitmap I can just select this image up and now it's going to be blocked by the water and Command, oh sorry, option delete, fill it with black, command D, and so we get that kind of sectioned off a wee bit. And you can now see our um, uh, Cuba fountain, although I might make it a wee bit smaller to scale it a bit. Yeah, it may or may not become a, you know, an interesting image in the, in the drawing. So we've got a few other things, but that's already starting to um, feel like an image as such. What I'm going to do is the, the geometry I was going to have before. Now nah, I've got the map. I'm not going to go that far, but I'm going to bring this image in. And this one is another one that's an interesting one to, to mask. Because the way that we go about masking this, so if I look at it, I'm going to go select, and I'm going to pick it by color range. So we're going to come in here, this menu will pop up, I'll click on the sky and then with the fuzziness you can see it selects more, you can see these bits becoming more apparent, or it selects less, you can see the sky starting to darken up. So I'll get a, a place in the middle where I'm happy, I go OK. It creates that where I can then Hit it with a, um, a mask. Obviously, it's the wrong way around, so I'm just going to go uh, Control I. But before, but before I do, what I'll do is on the mask, I'll have a look at the the channels. 
I switch the I on and the I off or sorry about RGB you can see that channel selected and then you have the option to actually go in and tidy this up more manually so now with the dodge tool these areas that are a bit dirty I can come in here and just sweep over them with the dodge tool the same with the sky and completely um, clean that up and this is going to be good because we're going to change this into a bitmap and you need to have that kind of slightly more pure black and white quality to it I'll go command I here and I'll load it up as a selection because the white is what we want to fill into the layers I'll make a new layer this one I'm going to fill it with um, black Swap this layer underneath because this is what we want to make it a bitmap. So now I can go image mode, grayscale. Let's kind of say, yeah, look, merge it, discard the color information. Now I can get into bitmap. It'll automatically ask to uh, flatten. It's three times up, half tone screen. And this one I'm going to have is round dots as well. Uh, 11, maybe I'll try it a bit higher, 17, ah, okay, and you can see by this that that sky wasn't completely cleaned up, so I have to um, take that back, I can just, actually I can just bring it back to this area here, and I can go Command L and just tidy it up at this stage. I don't need to go right back um, any further than that. So just strengthening up those whites. Which mode? Now we can do it. Bitmap. Yeah, all the stuff. It's on 90. I might take it back to the normal kind of 45. Don't think it'll, it won't really make any difference with with dots. And Let's have a look. There's not, there's not too much, um, not too much tone. So I'm just going to uh, revert this image back for a second. Let's get rid of that one. I think I made a bit of a. Um, an error with that when I turned it to a bitmap I basically filled that space but what I what I want is I still want it as a color image so I've used the mask and you can see I've come in here and I've cut in on it a wee bit so I've used the mask instead of it being pure black and white if it's like this it will have more grayscale through it and so the bitmap the dots will become more apparent so with this I'll go image mode grayscale flatten discard okay now we've got this grayscale a wee bit image mode bitmap half tone 17 uh, and again that background needs to be tidied up a wee bit so Command L, just a bit to clean up the background. We've still got the greys on here. Image mode, bitmap. Yep. And now we don't have those dots all the way across the um, the background. They're kind of ending when they hit that hit that white space. So if I select all and I copy it. And I'll just get rid of it actually, I don't need it anymore. This one here, into our um, channels, new channel, command V. It's just, it's a super big image again, so command T. Okay, let's go to it. 
my plus just to have a look at it again. Remember, I can switch on the eye for side, for side RGB if I want to see how it's starting to starting to look. I quite like the way that is, so I'll just I'll make the transition, I'll scale it. I'll switch the eye off beside RGB and you can see here um, I can probably go and change this area here, just fill it with, with white, Command D. So if I go Command I, because it's this area that we want to swap around, fill with um, color, the white, layers, new layer, I'll, get, I'll hit I for the eyedropper tool so I can get this blue. Now with this layer and the selection, I can go Alt, Delete, Command D. It's behind everything else, and again, I'll just I'll try multiply and see how that starts to look. Now we're getting the same kind of um, factor that we had before, where if I Shift, hold all these blue ones, and I make a folder so they're all in a group, then I can come and hit it with. Uh, hue and saturation. Just, um, clip them, and then I can come in here and say, okay, uh, what I was doing last time, lightening it right off. Does the saturation need to come up a little bit? Maybe the saturation has to go down. And we can go OK with that. So with that one, I'll save it. So now the last, the last wee bit here is if I separate these images out, um, how they look as a set when they're side by side. And the, the main, the main thing here is that this one. Uh, this one here doesn't look like it has the same kind of blue with the with the coloration. So let's see if we can bump the saturation up. And see if that will get it looking a little bit um, a little bit closer. I would say they both look as though they're part of the um, part of the same set, but let's have a little play with them now. So with these two images, the other option that we were talking about is that you could do one and split it down the middle. So let's have a go. If we get this image here and we go uh, image canvas size, we'll leave that on the left hand side, 210, so it becomes 420, so that we're looking at an A3 image, and I was doing it to the wrong one, so I'll come in here, it's this image that we're dealing with, canvas size, 420, right. Now, with all of this, and I'm going to try and grab it in one, one big go. So if I grab that group, shift everything else, we're going to see if we can just drag all of that across. And I have to be careful because it dragged it onto An image, so we'll try now. Grab all of this, shift, drag it across. Right, so we're getting, um, we're getting there. We can still move it around. 
our halfway point is going to be around here somewhere whoops And so we can look at some of these things and say, okay, well, maybe now with all these layers, we can start to um, shuffle things around and, and play with it. So if we look at the, the grouping here, maybe this image starts to blend more over into this one. We could get a pen or a mask and start to play with that. Some of these... Uh, color images like certainly the water can come over but maybe it needs to um, uh, sit further down underneath the mandala and so there might have to be a few uh, bits where it's kind of shifted around so all the blue areas go down no, underneath the mandala down to this area and that means as well that now we can get this and we can drag that down underneath the Mandela. Whoops, not Minor Island, it was um, this that I wanted to drag down. So now it sits in be, um, behind it. Things like the, uh, the roadway, we have this group, so the uh, road map, maybe that starts to slip, slip between the two now, it's set to mu multiply but you can still go through and play with some of these things like some of the um, uh, screen modes, lighten and that all look quite good when the um, images overlay, maybe the trees actually need to be um, need to be a bit bigger. So what happens with this with multiply go down through the um, settings with this one so, you know, some of that's quite interesting. Um, screen or color, uh, color dodge, and then you could even bring in more and more images to um, play around over the, over the top of it. Uh, maybe, was it this one? Doesn't work so, doesn't work so well. Minor Island needs to um, uh, shift over under, under the mandala, and maybe now it can even um, scale up a wee, you know, scale up a wee bit. The thing with the thing with this as well is that um, you know I'm uh, scaling and playing around with something because I'm joining two separate A4s together, but it would be quite a different experience if you're um, doing it as 1A3 in the beginning knowing that you're going to break it up and then all you're going to do is bring this over here and say okay 210 you know that's where the image would be cut down the middle so uh, lots of ways that you can start to uh, start to play with it let's take um let's do one more bit where we basically get this whole image, we duplicate it, and now we try and um, bitmap this. And let's see what happens. So we go here, rasterizes uh, this, it discards all the color information. I can now go and make that a bit more contrasty. Image mode, bitmap. doesn't need to be quite so high now so we'll just go 600 and with this I'll go 6 
really, really coarse um, dots. So select all, select all and copy it. Don't need that anymore. Again, through the um, channels, make a new channel and, and paste it. Command V. It's um, huge again, but maybe this will um, maybe this will work. You're going to want it too similar to what it was before. So if we do that, oh, sorry. Forget that and transform it so it's a bit bigger. Command I, load it up, come into the layers and we're going right up the um, very top. New, and maybe the color I'll choose is that um, one we had right at the beginning, that kind of strange. Uh, rainbow color and at the moment it's pretty horrendous but this if we now start going through some of these things you can end up again with a really um, lovely response sometimes and maybe I'll just go maybe we'll go to one of the um, Lighten ones, you can always change the transparency, but if we bring it down here and we drop it um, above the blue, how does that affect that? You can see it subtly through these areas down, um, down here. No, and it starts to um, bring up these other elements. If we duplicated it, it would make it. Um, uh, even more intense sometimes, although it doesn't look like it's made much difference with um, with lighten. Maybe you can add a different uh, character into it. I'll just get I'll just get rid of that. So it has all the um, uh, all the ingredients that we're after. Is you know maybe it's a complicated story about um, acknowledgement, but it's still going through and it's fulfilling that criteria.